Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. I'm back from my week and a half honeymoon. We need to crack on. What we've got is this first thing on my to-do list. I came in through the email and you didn't leave your name. So nameless person, very nice of you, but leave your name for credit. I did some testing with a sidearm, the AGM-122, and I found it has a lot more range than what most people think, up to 30 nautical miles, interesting. I attached a text file with some range speed angle settings. I hope this is useful. This is great because he's done the work, Nameless Man has done the work for us. All I've got to do is make a cool video and take the credit. credit. So uh, more of this, please. And what we've got is really interesting. So we've got different altitudes here. We've got speeds all about 550, or as close as you can, they can get. The angle at which he was pointing up his pitch elevation, whatever you want to call it. And the max range that he got and the rough time of flight. These are almost unbelievable figures. Now, my understanding of the AGM-122 sidearm is that it is a AIM-9 Bravo Sidewinder with an anti-rad seeker head. Is that your understanding, RC? Yeah. And the, and the AIM-9 Sidewinder, generally, you're going to say it's got a range, I mean, useful range of four or five miles, you know, in air-to-air. -air. So we're going to test if these claims are right, I can't see them being right. Firing from the 150 feet, so essentially on the ground, going 15 miles. Unless it's bu bugged in its version or something, it just sounds wrong. What this is going to do is going to turn it into a tactical weapon like an AGM-88C. And it would be nice to see if we can also test if these can be intercepted. Uh, AGM-88C, great weapon, you can fire it from 70 miles with the right kinematics. But it can be shot down by, say, an SA-15 or I think an SA-10 can shoot it down and so on. Haria, I'm going to try at 30 miles out. I'm going to be firing my missile from 30,000 feet or thereabouts at 528 knots. I think that's just basically as fast as our aircraft will go, I imagine. And at a, upwards, at a pitch of 20 degrees and see if we can get this 30-mile claim working. RC is going to start at the other end of the spectrum. He's going to be at 150 feet, so on the deck, as low as he can get. Three, two, one, on pause. Full power. Okay, so let's get ready. Master arm on, air to ground on. It's got a stores page in here because I'm just used to it. Side arm select. Let's get our HSD on here so I know where the target is. Whoops. Stupid cap. Uh, 37 miles. I'll put a waypoint on it just to make it simple. We can see he's, he's uh, spiking us. Uh, we've got to head towards him now. I'm just going to head towards the waypoint to be easier. Now, we're not going to be able to get a lock tone, obviously. We can only get a lock tone within 10 miles. The missile can only get a lock within 10 miles. All I have to do is fire this missile ballistically so that it is pointing at the target within 10 miles, and then we can fire and forget. So. We want to get up to 30,000 feet and 550 knots. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. We're just going to have to do the best we can by the looks of it. 30 miles now, so I'm going to go for the lob. Don't want to burn up any speed, so I'm going to take my time. 29 miles. And Magnum. Magnum. I'm going to keep in the air. I'm out of the range of the SA-6, way out of the range of the SA-6. I'm going to stay in the air so that it's the, the hostile radar keeps emitting. I'm just going to trim myself out there. Uh, 28 miles, 29 miles. Let's go see the babies. See how high they get. I fired oh, low. Roger. I'm just going to look at my test. I fired low at 20, 20 miles, and it's not going to make it because it's going to hit terrain. Yeah, or Roger. trees before it gets there. I did, um, I did getting up to 30,000 at 28 to 29 miles. So what we want now is this to ballistically, the trajectory to put our seeker head here, pointing at the uh, runway where the uh, bad SA6 is, within 10 miles, and we should get lock after launch, and it should guide itself in. It should have plenty of kinematics because, you know, it's got all this altitude to trade for speed, and it's going plenty fast at the moment. So down to 40,000 feet. It's Got to get the angle right as well, obviously. You see I've got the angle wrong. I'm about two degrees to the right. So hopefully it can uh, still pick up. Target, we'll see. I'm not sure it's going to. No, it's going to run out. Ah, oh, damn it. It's missed it. No, it's found it again. It's found it. It's just within 10 miles. Yep. Now, it looks like battery life is not modelled. Typically, these missiles will have a certain battery life. An AIM-120 is like a minute and a half or something. We did we did studies, and I've forgotten them now. 
But it looks like these have got a, either a large or an unrealistic battery life. I don't know which it is. And I think we're going to get a Woomy. A Boomy Boomy. That's going to be a kill. 28, 29 miles. With an AGM. Boom, boom. Very good. Um, I'm going to try low down now. Now the major problem you're probably thinking already is that we need to know how far we are away from the target to be able to do this. So this doesn't. This only works if you've got a waypoint on the target. Would you agree with that? I can't see any other way of doing this. Yeah. Oh, so this is pre-planned only. A waypoint. So you know where generally the target is. But if you um, found it on the teapod, could you create a waypoint from the teapod or a target point? You could, couldn't you? You could create a target point from the. Yeah. Yeah. So you could do this. You could find a teapod 50 miles out. You could find him out of range. You could convert that to a target point and draw a waypoint and then run in like I'm doing here. So, 15 miles. 14 and a half miles again, going up my shot. 14 degree trajectory. Fire! Fire! Woohoo! Boom, boom! Right, here we go. 14 and a half miles from the deck. So, it's all about getting the trajectory so that the sensor is aiming at the target, the cone of the sensor, which is very narrow, like five degrees or something, or less, uh, is aiming at the target within 10 miles so that it can pick him up. Okay. Looks like a possible yeah. overshoot. I don't know why he stopped How firing. Far, oh, you were... Was I, your altitude? You were high? No, I was, I was low. I fired at 14 and a half miles. I think I'm going to overshoot annoyingly, but... I'm um, down to 300 knots, let's see. Come on baby, pick him up. I've just got to keep the hostile radar illuminated. Ah, I've overshot. I've actually gone too far there, so that would have worked. Fine. But I've just gone too far. So I should have fired back at 18 miles or something, which gives it even more range than we thought, look. So it's all about learning. Oh, I might come down. I might come... Oh, it was just a mile. I was just a mile over. Look yeah. at that. That would have caught. So that was my fault. I took a little bit too long. Boom. I took a little bit too long uh, to fire the missile. But otherwise that would have caught. So it shows you've got to know where the target is. You've got to have a waypoint there. And you've got to use the miles exactly. Uh, you know, you've got to pull up exactly. If you pull up just slightly to... That's going to be fired at me, I guess. We're going to try now. They've got three SA-15 anti-missile suites in there. Let's see if they can uh, shoot our missiles down. Let me know when you're in. Okay, I'm doing mine now. Yep, missile's out. How, what altitude are you firing at? Well, just as quickly as I can get up to angle. Okay, missiles. I fired my missiles. Must have been about, I don't know. Roger, but let's see how they go. Right, I'm following mine first. Right, I've got to keep that radar illuminated, so um, do what you have to do. Get shot down if you have to. Just need to keep those missiles illuminated. Don't think he's got any active S, uh, telephone poles out. Oh, slightly off to the right. No, we're okay. I'm okay. Okay, it's a missile out on me. I'm going to yeah. just... Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. You're going. I'm going. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right, boys. Right, keep that. Oh, come on. Don't miss it. I fired about one degree to the right, and I'm worried I'm going to miss it now. Yes, it's tracking. Okay, 14.5 miles on the deck. Brilliant. Looks like they're all tracking. Yeah, four missiles. So you've got to be kind of plus or one, plus or minus one mile for accuracy. Woo! Are out. Oh, yeah, they can get oh, shot man, down. Look at all those missiles. They can get shot. <laughs> One's going to get through. One's going to get through. <laughs> look at all those, man. One got through. <laughs> Boom. Die, Tor. My tiny 22 pound warhead. Oh, 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 look at the <laughs> wicked. Right. Jesus. Stop it. Boom. Ooh. Hit her other uh -oh. one. <laughs> oh, was that you? Ah. <laughs> you right. <laughs> so you can. Ah, nice. Another one came in. We've got two of them. So you can use oh. the sidearm at 30 plus miles tactically or 15 miles if you're on the deck in a pre planned mode, i.e., you, you've managed to set a waypoint from a teapot or a map or whatever. Uh, which is great, which makes it a cool tactical weapon to use. We never thought of doing that before, but now we can, uh, which I'm chuffed with. Anything you want to add to that, I'll see. Nope. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.